You've all heard of the terms virtual reality or augmented reality, but they always sound like things that are so far away. But beware, they are far closer than you think and they are going to change everything. Come with us now as we talk about InReal's augmented reality glasses, the newest shift in reality. Virtual reality happens when you're trying to use a computer and it doesn't do whatever you want it to do. The InReal Air looks far more like a typical pair of glasses than earlier generations of AR glasses. There are a few noticeable alterations that a keen observer might see, but since there are no cameras, it is difficult to tell how AR works. Going camera-free immediately quells many of the privacy issues that plagued earlier gadgets like Google Glass and Ray-Ban Stories. Your eyesight won't be tracked and those around you can relax knowing that no recordings are being made without their permission. Even yet, a few indicators show that these aren't your average glasses. The InReal Air needs to be connected to your phone in order to work. You may quickly connect your devices through a connector hidden at the end of one of the glasses' arms using the USB-C to USB-C cable included in the box. While not entirely wireless like a set of Bluetooth earphones, these headphones never interfered with our ability to move our heads around. Since there are so few problems when wearing the glasses, it's easy to forget about the cable, aside from when putting on and taking off the glasses. The reliance on your phone's power means that these glasses are pretty light, just 90 grams. They don't have an internal battery. However, they will quickly deplete the battery on your phone in exchange, especially if you use them for a lengthy amount of time. The inner lenses are another obvious indication that the InReal Air isn't a typical pair of glasses. The ability to reflect an image from your phone's screen so that it appears to be floating in front of you is what these do to give the glasses their augmented reality or AR capabilities. The glasses also have two tiny speakers on each arm, brightness controls, and an on-off button on the right arm. We never really needed to dim the screen, so we definitely would have preferred managed audio to take the place of the brightness controls on the arm. Instead, you have to rely on your phone's or headphones controls to adjust the volume. Every set of InReal Air glasses includes a power cable, a carry case you can use to store it, extra nose pieces you may use to make the glasses fit more comfortably, and an optional connection that can be used to attach prescription lenses. Also included is a plastic lens cover. This cover will provide your glasses with additional security, privacy, and clarity while also acting as a backdrop for what you're viewing to enhance the sharpness of the image. The InReal Air AR glasses resemble personal projectors more than they do pocket-sized TVs. This means that the optimal environment for viewing via the glasses is a room without a lot of strong light and an opaque, plain background. If you want to have any chance of seeing what is being displayed when you're outside or facing a light source, you must install the optional visor. However, the HD image produced by the glasses is quite amazing. The device's relative screen size more than makes up for the colors not being as vivid as we'd like and the lack of 4K resolution. Although not totally vision-fulfilling, it is undoubtedly more immersive than staring at your phone screen. It is roughly the same size as having one 30-inch TV 4 meters away from you. The audio performance is satisfactory. However, if you don't mind everyone around you hearing what you're listening to, it's more than adequate. However, it is still undoubtedly less dynamic than an excellent pair of headphones. Thankfully, the AR glasses speakers will automatically mute themselves if you choose to use headphones, much like your phone does. You must also consider your smartphone because the InReal Air is only compatible with a select number of handsets. This contains several other devices that may be found on the whole official list, such as the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, Samsung Galaxy S21 5G, and Oppo Find X5. You can also be connected to a few other portable devices like the Steam Deck. Unless you already own one of the compatible phones, you might need to purchase a brand new phone if you're eager to test them for yourself. This is due to the fact that the issue preventing smartphones from operating with the InReal Air glasses is a hardware issue rather than a software one. However, the glasses are more than simply portable projectors. They give users access to premium augmented reality features via the Nebula app. The first option lets you project many screens in front of you at once using a virtual multi-monitor arrangement. You can have a store page open on a fourth screen so you can order everything you're reading, watching, or chatting about on the other screens while you're watching a YouTube live stream on one screen and following an expert live blog on another, a group chat with your friends on a third, and so on. You can have all of this going on on the enormous display of the glasses without needing to reduce any windows down because everything is clearly visible even when multiple windows are open at once. Unfortunately, the lack of cameras in the InReal Air glasses severely restricts this feature. You need to use your phone to move these windows around and open them initially. The controls, though, are simply too complicated to make this a pleasurable or rewarding experience. Cameras would make the possibility of some sort of hand tracking more likely. You could pinch your fingers together or text on a floating keyboard for a truly Tony Stark-like experience, rather than aimlessly scrolling on your phone screen. The cycling app is another option. By playing a video of a fellow cyclist on the same route, this tool, which takes inspiration from services like Peloton, takes you from your gym to a bike path. Nothing particularly noteworthy, but it's fine. You'd be better off picking up a VR headset and checking out some of the top VR fitness games if you're looking for an immersive workout. 
Once again, the glasses could offer much better experiences by being able to capture the world around you with cameras. Instead of doing more than putting graphics in front of your face at a specific distance, these glasses could digitally overlay realistic virtual things into the real world that you could interact with. The InReal Air AR glasses don't have or need an internal battery because they connect directly to your smartphone and cannot function wirelessly. However, because they lack a battery of their own, these glasses will severely reduce the battery life of the connected smartphone. Users discovered that watching Netflix via 5G on an Oppo Find X5 while wearing the InReal glasses and a set of Bose 700 Bluetooth headphones was enough to reduce the battery life of the phone by 50% during the hour-long trips. The issue could be improved by adding batteries to the glasses, making them less dependent on your phone's battery. The glasses would get heavier as a result, losing their sleekness and comfort while becoming more noticeable. Instead, we'd want to see the addition of a second USB-C port to the glasses or their cord, which would enable a user to concurrently connect their phone and a power supply. The addition of an aux port to the glasses is another feature we would like to see. People must choose between using wired headphones or AR glasses as most phones now have dongles that link to the USB-C port in place of the aux jacks. So, to summarize, the InReal Air AR glasses aren't the first of their sort to go on the market, but they represent the industry's finest opportunities so far for creating something that might find widespread appeal. All you need is a comparable smartphone in order to easily immerse yourself in Netflix or Xbox Game Pass content using their straightforward plug-and-play architecture. Not only can you see, but you can also listen along owing to surprisingly good internal speakers tucked away in the stems of the glasses. In light of this, we definitely advise pairing the InReal Air glasses with a solid set of wireless headphones. You'll enjoy much better audio quality and increased privacy. The glasses have a slim, fashionable style and are lightweight. To better fit your facial shape and or vision prescription, they contain optional attachments. While such aspects aren't as crucial as the internal specifications, knowing that you may proudly wear these glasses without worrying about getting too many strange looks should bring you some comfort. Plus, they lack cameras so you don't have to worry about the company tracking your data or weirding out people around you. The InReal Air Glasses AR usefulness is sadly severely constrained due to the lack of cameras. They're wonderful for making your smartphone feel like a movie theater extension, but that's about it. Because of the pair's limited usefulness, the $600-400 pound price tag may be difficult to swallow. It's challenging to suggest the glasses given the extremely limited number of cell phones that they work with, along with a few other minor issues. Although they seem like quite a bit of fun, the InReal Air AR glasses aren't quite a must-have accessory for living up a dull commute. Nor are they a perfect representation of what AR and VR technology can do at this time. They do, however, show a lot of promise and certainly have some exciting facets to them and other developers and manufacturers can build upon. So, what do you think of the InReal Air AR glasses? Are they the real deal? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the same. Until next time, goodbye.